What's going on guys? GSNow right here. So in today's video we have a quick video about the King Lab and about a conference on which King Lab or part of King Lab will be. And we're going to also discuss about Taiji who is apparently back. Now speaking about the King Lab and mostly about Lion Chen and uh, Mark Grassi from King Lab. They will be part of Infiltrate 2018, which is a conference in which they're going to discuss about apparently iOS. Now, as you can see here, this has been posted on November 28, 2017, and um, apparently it says, quote, Infiltrate 2018, Technical Keynote, iOS World Stories, Marco Grassi and Lion Chen. And if you take a look in here at the speakers on Infiltrate 2018, you can see you have amongst others, uh, Marco Grassi, this guy in here, and Lion Chen and their description. So they will be part of this um, annual conference and they will talk about iOS. So that might be interesting. If you remember, Lion Chen managed to jailbreak the iOS 11 a couple times and even the latest version of iOS 11 a couple weeks ago. So it's definitely something I would really want to see um, whatever they are talking about in this conference in here because they will apparently be talking about iOS. So it might be interesting from our standpoint point, at least for those of you who are interested in iOS security. And uh, yeah, definitely if you're interested, check out Infiltrate's uh, page in here. They might be posting updates or videos on the presentations. So yeah, definitely interesting. I will be checking them out. And in other news, uh, the uh, Taiji team is apparently back. Their website is back. Uh, for those of you who did not know, uh, their website has been completely down, unreachable. It gave some sort of DNS error for like two weeks or a week and a half. And uh, we all thought, you know, they're gone and they will never come back. And uh, there were like a couple Taiji download or Taiji-download.com fake websites promoting the Taiji jailbreak or a fake version of Taiji jailbreak who were now apparently first in Google, which means a lot of people could have been fooled to download malware because the original Taiji was no longer up and uh, the only Taiji clones that were available uh, and very up ranking on Google were actually promoting fake stuff. So I'm pretty glad they uh, got their website back. It means that they might still be active in the background doing something. Uh, maybe they will not release a jailbreak anytime soon, but at least they are still, uh, you know, taking care of their websites and uh, fixing stuff. And um, for those of you who do have an iOS 8.1.3 to 8.4 device and want to jailbreak it, you can use the Taiji tool and you can download it from here on Windows or Mac OS. It's back again on the official source. Anyways, um, if you're searching for Taiji, this is their official link, taiji.com slash English, if you want the English version, not taiji-download.com, not taiji-jailbreak.com, not taiji9.com. There are many, many fake websites claiming to be the Taiji team and promoting jailbreaks for iOS 11 with Taiji's name and logo and so on. These are all fake. This one in here is the only official jailbreak page for Taiji team and um, you can see their last jailbreak was for iOS 8.4 so no iOS 11 or iOS 10 or stuff like that. So do not download any Taiji jailbreak claiming to be Taiji jailbreak for iOS 11 or iOS 10. It's 100% or 110% uh, fake or malware, or even worse, it can steal your data and so on. So do not do that to yourself. I will definitely tell you here on the channel, I will make a quick video if they release anything in the future, but unless you see something from a reputable channel on the iOS, like my channel, Brandon's channel, or you know, even everything Apple Pro or iCracker I device, then you do not go ahead and download a specific tool. If a jailbreak tool will appear from a specific team, we will definitely cover it on our channels. No need to search three hours on Google to find that jailbreak link. It's going to pretty much blow up on YouTube once it is released. So, um, yeah, that's a method you can definitely use in order to check whether a jailbreak is real. If it's real, a lot of iOS channels like mine and aforementioned channels will make videos on it. If it's not, then everybody will be quiet about it. So if you see some magical jailbreak from Taiji for iOS 11 or iOS 12 or whatever, and is not present on any of your go-to channels about iOS, then it's most likely fake. So definitely 
pay attention. Anyways, I'm glad they're back and I'm glad that KinLab, or at least part of KinLab, will be at Infiltrate 2018. They will talk about iOS, Marco Grassi and Lion Chen, which is very, very good because um, it means that people are doing research in the background. So for those of you who are interested in iOS security, that is that. This video has been brought to you by Wondershare with their product Dr. Phone. And now this product in here helps you keep your iOS device in shape to recover lost and erased data, to transfer data between iOS and Android, and even repair your iOS device if it has system issues. You can also erase it completely if you want to give it away or to sell it and not to worry about your data being recoverable, or you can even backup and restore later on. So definitely a good idea, a good set of tools in here and um, they're definitely good to have. I have tested them in the past, I have even reviewed a couple of them, so I definitely recommend them. In the description down below you can even find a coupon for $5 off when you're purchasing the tool and they even provide a free trial for their tools. Check out in the description down below for more info. Yeah, that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, it was a quick update on what's going on, and I was really really happy to, to tell you that Taiji put their website back, because uh, you know, it was a very big vulnerability, a lot of fake Taiji websites exist, and if the real one is no longer uh, available in Google and it's no longer reachable, then those fake websites can pretty much say absolutely anything they want and people would believe it, especially people who are not that uh, old in the jailbreak community. So yeah, I'm glad they're back. So um, thanks for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, we'll keep you updated with anything iOS related. I'm GSNow, peace out.